Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yutose episode number 8. So the previous episode um, we had the first uh, competition of the 9 school competition. The first competition was the, I can't remember its name but the shooting competition and um, I think the opponent's name was Shiori, Shiori versus uh, Shizuku and we can like you know everything we are seeing from the opponent's perspective how they like you know actually struggled to like you know uh, in, in the competition and how they lost and what Shiori felt we kind of got her past you know and uh, like all that stuff she got depressed but later on you know she changed her mind and decided to go for the pillar breaks uh, pillars break participate in the pillars break as well and uh, that's for her and there's also another match coming up which is the battle board match which will happen between toko and honokam i mean they're the main competitors so yeah that's one other thing the whole pillars break thing is going on a lot of things are going on and most of the like you know like obviously the teammates are talented as well but the little nudge that is needed for them to actually win you know is being provided by tatsuya by his uh, su like, you know, superior engineering skills and uh, otherwise they would have been very close you know they're winning but like basically tatsuya's expertise is really helping uh, all of them win and uh, like we, we saw that in uh, red tose as well so we, we're kind of seeing everything from the opponent's perspective now how they're getting bewildered they're like oh my god what the hell is this guy you know like it's like a it's like a master in engineer or something like kimson prince and <laughs> cardinal george were also impressed all that stuff so yeah so let's see what happens in this episode we're probably going to get the pillar break and um the uh, the battle board competition here and probably in the next episode we're going to have the uh mirage bat so let's see so this is episode number eight uh, yeah episode number eight of mahoka koko no yuto say so yeah so i'll put in the subtitles and the time and here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go All right. Oh, little party. Okay. Hmm. All right. The pillars pillars break will happen. Cloud ball. Oh, what's the cloud ball? What the? <laughs> oh. oh okay oh <laughs> wow Hmm. Yeah, obviously. That's Oh yeah. I'm sure she he's also thinking of whether like you know the families will get I'm sure it's because of the family. Yeah, I'm sure. There you go. And I doubt he himself will, would even go for the recognition and everything that, you know, people actually seek. He doesn't care about them. So... I'm sure if he didn't even have those shackles, he probably wouldn't...
Okay, yeah, as I was saying, like, like I don't know, like, uh, I think that even if, you know, uh, as Miyuki is saying, the shackles that are binding him, the Yosuba family, even if they were not in the picture, I doubt Tasse himself would be like, oh yeah, like, yeah, I, I'll, like, you know, insert my name in the index and, you know, like, take, take credit for it. He'd probably say something like, oh, this was a joint effort or something like that, you know? I don't know, like, I just think he, he'll be, like, he'll just say something like that. But yeah, like, as Miki said that, not this, but there are a few other things which really kind of act as a shackle for him. The Yosuba family. But in a way, you know, like, I kind of feel that is necessary because if actually everyone gets to know the actual monster Tatsuya is, like the immense power he has, I don't know what would even happen. Like, like he'd probably be like hounded by people and I don't know, like his life would probably become more complicated. So in a way, the shackles are kind of also preventing him from getting like noticed by all the other, like, you know, unsavory people. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, did they lose? <laughs> okay. Wait, what is the cloud ball? I forgot about it. Oh, it's tennis, I think. Yeah, it is tennis. Oh, Irie is participating in this. I did not catch that before. Oh my god. Oh my god. Subaru will lose here. I can feel. Okay. More or less, it's the same. Oh. Oh wait. Whoa. Awareness block. Yeah. Oh wait, what the hell? It's like the probability, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, this is in human speed, speed definitely. Mm, yeah. Yeah, oh boy, well, there you go. Yeah. Whoa, 2060. Hmm, yeah, this was a bit difficult. <laughs> They're like, huh? <laughs> oh, wow, that itself is a big deal. Oh, she, she noticed that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Necklace, C-A-D. Hmm.
Tell to directly command the body. Oh. Like more like reflex actions. Yeah, it's more like reflex actions, you know, the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, who is going to participate in Pillars Break? I for... Was it Miyuki? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay okay she's here and uh, okay who is she fighting against oh th that girl no, who is this? Okay, she will win this. Like, I feel like this one time that Miyuki actually participated in the pillars break. So this is not that. Hmm. Wow, she is barely even able to touch. Whoa. Hmm, yeah, well. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Okay, she won here. I thought I thought it was Mugu would be here. She would have lost then. Okay, Amy. Amy versus. All right. <laughs> okay, Tasha did her CID, okay. <laughs> what? What? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, she's, yeah. Hmm. All right. She has a gun in her hand. Oh, uh, that's a theory. Yet. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's like, what the hell is this? I've never seen an, a move like this before. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One for three. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's innovative. Hmm. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Honoka and Miyuki, they are all left. They can... They can carry them, you know? Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. What? <laughs> All right, new kids turn here. Okay. Okay. Which one is this? Oh yeah, Miyuki's okay. Alright, now is Miyuki's turn. Alright. Oh I remember her outfit. It's kind of like a Miko outfit, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to see what happens now. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> Tatsuya's engineering and Miyuki's skill. It's a, it's, it's a Miko outfit, like. Yeah, it is a Miko outfit. There you go. Boy. All right, let's go. <laughs> Part of the strategy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Interfere with phenomena. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> God. <laughs> Toko's all happy. Yeah, she seems a lot more... Yeah, she seems a lot more strong in her mental department, Toko. Even more than Irie, I think. Ash. Mm. 
Mm. All right. Wait, who is this? Amy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they'll also have to face her. <clears throat> Next opponent. Who? Oh. Oh my god. She forgot about her. <laughs> okay, this will be good, I think. But, but Tasha did her CAD, so I think... I don't know, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So like the, uh, this this whole tournament is a big turning point for him. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, he she lost. Did she? No, no, she did not. Okay. <laughs> You're eating what? <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh, Tasha's here as well. <laughs> wow. Mm. That's true. We will see. <laughs> God, Saigusa. Damn, everything's sparkling. What's happening? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's 3.30 a.m. and she's still awake. Doesn't she have a competition next day? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, what the... Okay, so the next episode I'm guessing we're going to have Amy's speed shooting. Mm. Yeah, Amy's speed shooting. What else? 
I'm guessing uh, the pillars break. Uh, yeah, obviously we're going to see Miyuki's pillars break again because she is advancing and probably uh, Irie and she will meet in the finals or something. And then I'm guessing the Mirage Pad. So okay, not the next episode as well. I'm guessing the episode after that will get the Mirage Pad. <coughs> Hmm. Okay. there you go that's the end okay so this episode here mm. we had uh first of all uh subaru and uh id's um, cloud ball yeah cloud ball and uh, we had that then we had the uh, pillars break yeah the pillars break then we had amy's pillars break and then we had Miyuki's a lot of competition happened this episode then we had Miyuki's pillars break and uh, yeah that was it so <clears throat> so we can like you know this episode kind of introduces us to Iris actual power that she you know like she she's fast she's fast as hell and using her CAD she can now okay let me check out that portion where they were uh where was that portion where they were they were explaining explaining the okay uh what you saw was the light from id's necklace cad it only contains the bare minimum of magic the amount of light is minute uh okay uh, okay here it is id's magic consists of a spell to directly recognize perceived information with her mind okay she perceives the information and a spell to directly command the body to return shots run and control her cad all with her mind okay so it's kind of similar to reflex actions you know like usually what our brain does is like you know we see everything like you know through our senses sight smell touch taste all these senses you know we we feel everything we get the external stimuli it kind of goes through our nerves uh, to the spinal cord to the brain and the brain you know does stuff and gives a response which uh, moves to whatever part of our body so if i think like oh i should pick that bottle up you know like my my eyes kind of see where the bottle is it gives information to the brain goes it goes to our hand and i pick the bottle up that's usually how it goes but for um, actions which needs to be done very quickly for example if i'm being pricked by something some thorns or something you know it usually doesn't happen like you know that like it usually takes a little bit of time for everything to happen so it does not happen like that the sense directly the stimuli directly goes to the brain brain uh no not that's not sorry uh, it doesn't go to the brain it goes to the spinal cord and without going to the brain it directly commands our hand to take it off something like that as far as i can remember um you know like that's how it happens so like it like you know it's like a direct action so usually these are called reflex actions usually these type of actions we do without even thinking for example if suddenly there's like a burning sensation in our hand and we see that our hand is being like you know is like, you know, it's, it's being burnt we suddenly take our hand off that's what a reflex action is and it's kind of similar to that as they explain where they say that you know like the senses go and the magic actually helps it to <coughs> you know like uh, directly commands the body to do stuff so without going to the brain so like you know it happens very fast so that's why uh, like you know like she's able to do everything so quickly now here's a little bit of a difference here 
where that happens but at the same time what they say after that is okay here honoka says you mean her body starts moving before she can think yeah this thing is usually what happens for reflex actions you know your body starts moving be before someone can even think about it it's like an involuntary action okay but here toko says that well before she can see to be precise oh wait what oh before she can see to be precise so what she says is like this magic is a bit advanced than that more advanced she says that before she can even see it that means it's kind of what can i say like um you know uh, calculates the possibility of what's happening first so that what actually happens i'm guessing if like, during this episode when she saw the ball you know at a place coming towards her like from a direction she cal pre-calculated where the ball would be at what time you know looking at its trajectory so before the ball even came she calculated what's going to happen and <coughs> <clears throat> her CID helped her to move quickly at that position so she can return it back. So basically it's kind of like she was seeing the future in a way as far as I could understand you know that's why like you know like while she was calculating everything while the magic was happening you can see multiple balls so she was actually calculating what's going to happen if she like you know if the ball is there the ball will be here for for some time it'll come here and then like you know she calculated pre-calculated that if I strike it back and if the opponent is able to strike back then the ball will come here next or something like that she was able to calculate so before anything happened she calculated the positions of the balls and like that's how fast it worked and that's how like you know quickly she was able to return them and the opponent was barely able to do anything so basically is is it's that it's basically she's pre-calculating everything and taking uh quick decisions mainly because of her cad's power so that's the, as far as I could understand, like, you know, the theory between uh, uh, of the CAD, how it works. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it, it, it was like, you know, it was kind of <clears throat> like Subaru's. Uh, OK, what was Subaru's CAD speciality? Just a sec. It was something called. All right. Uh, where is it awareness block yeah that was that's what it is so <clears throat> iris cad speciality triumphed over um subaru's awareness block and her, her her power works kind of like she says that it allows me to conceal my presence when i'm visible okay so it's kind of like you know becomes invisible or something in a way and you cannot actually figure out where she is something like that blocks awareness so <clears throat> yeah that was uh, subaru's match with id we kind of get to see how her, what her power is and then we get to the next uh, match with <coughs> shiori and the other girl and we can see shiori's power here as well and so here they are moving up you know shiori won id also like you know i'm guessing she won as well and so she is, they're like climbing up and now Muki also won later on so i'm guessing they're going to meet again in the <coughs> finals <coughs> so i'm guessing uh, obviously like uh, we know what's going to happen Muki is going to win so sure is probably going to suffer loss again and i hope she actually doesn't like you know give up after this like you know like it's like it will be like she loses you know multiple times she'll be losing multiple times even after getting her confidence back which she kind of lost in the middle <clears throat> after getting her confidence back and winning i hope she doesn't like you know give up after losing against miyuki because obviously she won't be able to win against miyuki we know that <clears throat> so yeah because it's not only miyuki miyuki and tatsuya like you know like Tasha is supporting every one of them from the background and like you know his engineering skills like heighten the individual's power even more so Miyuki herself is a very strong individual but <laughs> Tasu yeah, is behind Miyuki so <laughs> it's impossible <clears throat> okay 
all right that was that and uh, and obviously like you know the, our own teammates will also have to fight miyuki <laughs> you know if they like when they're going to uh win one after the other and uh, yeah like amy was kind of freaked out after seeing miyuki's power that like she was so disturbed by it that she actually forgot about her next opponent that is sure Shiori. <laughs> and uh yeah and miyuki obviously we see her power her inferno like uh like we obviously we see the we have seen her uh, high level powers before like the, we saw i think in niflheim yeah niflheim was uh, the one with the ice ice uh, like you know the ice power we have seen niflheim and uh, like you know in this episode we saw inferno obviously we saw that in retose as well but in this anime we see her, her power now again inferno and uh, <clears throat> yeah and that was amazing all right here's another thing that we can like you know kind of saw here toko now toko in my opinion she, she i don't know she she's probably mentally very strong so like even iri was kind of disturbed by seeing miyuki's power but whereas toko she's like oh it's i'm so jealous you guys are can will be able to fight her i can't do like you know i i won't be able to <laughs> wow okay so, so she's basically like those type of characters you know who who do not actually like you know who, whose main motivation is fighting strong people those type of one of those type of characters and those type of characters are one of the most dangerous archetype of characters in anime they don't care about win or loss they just care about like you know fighting strong people and challenging themselves their own limits that's what they are and that's what makes them strong and scary at the same time so here we can see toko's like i kind of saw that before but i i wasn't able to fully pinpoint it this episode clearly shows us that toko doesn't give a damn about others power she is just impressed by everything like that curiosity that childlike curiosity she has and like you know her hunger to uh fight people who are stronger than her or on par with her to have a good battle that hunger it it in itself is a thing that i'm i think makes her even more um <clears throat> concerning than iri and the other characters surely like i think toko is like, like she's supposed to be the actual um, what can i say last boss or something i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure how strong she is but her personality shows that even if currently she's not stronger than iri she probably will be in the future you know because <clears throat> her mentality is something that will actually make her strong and like you know she'll always be like you know there's not no like we saw no fear or no concern in her mind she was basically fascinated seeing miyuki whereas at the same time i was concerned seeing miyuki so this fascination in itself is is probably going to reach like take her to new heights of power in the future if if currently she's not strong as strong as i think if she like i, I don't know how strong she is because we never saw her like you know actual like comp competing with honoka and i'm sure we're going to see that in the future episodes that's when i'll probably be able to you know judge her properly like <clears throat> the, you know so yeah that's one thing like you know like these type of characters <laughs> you need to stay wary of them like they don't care you know <clears throat> they just want a good fight and they're the most scary ones here <clears throat> all right that and then yeah the next scene we see miyuki and airi having a handshake <laughs> you know them kind of saying that yeah we're going to like you know fight and airi said that i'm going to proclaim that i'm going to win and miyuki was also you know ready and confident so yeah and amy also got inspired seeing that she just got so inspired that she wasn't even able to sleep i hope that doesn't affect her <laughs> match i doubt that it will but you know still so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction was there anything else um no nah. i think that was it yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to mahoka koko no yuto say episode number eight so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out 
so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of bhauka koko no yuto se so until then goodbye and have a nice day